continuing their 40,000 mile working holiday in Australasia, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh arrive at Sydney's Kingsford Smith Airport. Thousands of people have braved the weather to greet them and leading the reception party were the Governor General, Sir Paul Hasluck and Lady Hasluck. There had been a heavy rainstorm only minutes before the aircraft arrived but the crowd soon forgot their soaking and the Queen and Prince Philip stopped to chat informally with a number of them. Shortly afterwards, Prince Charles and Princess Anne flew in to join them. In the wind, Princess Anne's charming hat was to prove something of an embarrassment. The Prince, of course, is well known to Australians already, having spent part of his school days at Timbertops and Geelong. Reports say that Princess Anne, troubled by her hat, made some unguarded comments about the blustering wind. The royal family arrived at the Royal Easter Show in a carriage built in Europe a century ago. Here they were met by Mr Vincent Fairfax, President of Australia's Royal Agricultural Society. There was a wide variety of entertainment taking place in the stadium, including a competition by experts in wood chopping. show jumping offered a further interest to the horse-loving royal visitor. But the highlight of this great show is of course the display of livestock. Certainly the reception they've received throughout this tour demonstrates that our royal family is as closely linked as ever with the people of the Commonwealth. <laughs>